Hi everyone, my name is Eduardo and I'll be talking to you about Progradio.jl. This is a Julia package for projected gradient optimization. I have decided to create this package both because there wasn't any for projected gradient optimization in Julia and also because I have wanted to work with a different interface for optimization, which I will tell you all about in a minute. The type of problems that we are concerned with are box constrained optimization problems. So we have a function f of x that we want to minimize with respect to x. Uh, this is subject to lower and upper bounds. And we wish to find that minimizer near a provided initial guess, x of 0. It naturally follows that the Julia implementation would be to create a composite type, including the objective function the gradient, as well as the lower upper bounds and the initial guess. We can attack these problems by using, for example, line search algorithms. Uh, in this case, I've implemented a method by Dimitri Bertsekas, uh, described in this paper, where usually you first have a descent direction computation phase where you want to find from your current iterate what is a direction that gives you descent, uh, in other words, an improvement in your cost function. And after you have uh, the descent direction, you want to solve the step size computation problem, which basically you take a slice along that direction and you want to find what the appropriate step size would be. Um, and then once you've have the step size along with the direction, you know what your next uh, iteration will be. My motivation actually comes from infinite dimensional optimization problems. So these are problems where there are some parameters which vary continuously like space or time in optimal control or partial differential equations. And uh, in these cases, we don't solve just one optimization problem, but rather a sequence of finite dimensional problems. So we start with a coarse approximation uh, and then we switch to finer and finer approximations. And each of these problems are initialized with the solution from the previous problem. That is what we call warm starting. And it is very important that we can terminate these problems at some desired state um, in order to have an efficient solution. To summarize, the requirements that we have for these kinds of solutions are that we should be able to define uh, termination criteria that are user provided, and we should be able to expose the optimization state, such as the current information about the problem, also the previous iterations if necessary, um, the gradient, and so on, such that the user doesn't have to recompute these at each iteration to judge, and we should also facilitate uh, warm starting. These requirements are not really satisfied by the current state of the art, which is the common solve interface where we give a problem and an algorithm and we put in the solve function and we hope that we get a solution out of it. It is true that you can create callbacks, but in those cases, you'd often have to recompute many quantities that you should already have computed um, that's why we are looking for a different way of doing uh, this optimization. And the solution was simply to use Julia's uh, iterator interface. So this is baked into Julia. We can just create an iterator. In our case, we've created this iterator function in which we give a problem and an algorithm. And so with this iterator, we can simply call base.iterate on it, and it would give us the state and the cost at each iteration. And we can just simply solve um, problems and check its progress along the way. We also provide the common solve interface. If you are uh, already familiar with it and for a different kind of audience, but if you want to do advanced uh, usage of this package, um, you can switch between solvers, you can warm start different problems, 
and you should be able to test your algorithms uh, also in an easier way. Uh, so the way to go really was to use the iterator interface. I have implemented an Armijo type method. This does the line search using uh, possibly different descent directions. So for example, the steepest descent for conjugate gradient class, we have Fletcher Reeves, Pollock Riviere, and Hagar Yang. And for quasi-Newton, we have the limited memory BFGS uh, direction. We wish to expand this collection of algorithms, perhaps by adding trust region methods and second order uh, solvers like the Newton direction. This interface really opens up a lot of possibilities. And here's a quick example where let's say you want to solve a problem first using a steepest descent method. And then at some point you wish to switch to a conjugate gradient method. Uh, you can just simply create these iterators and you start iterating on the steepest descent until a terminate function that you've defined is met. And at that point, you can just switch to a the conjugate gradient iterator and keep um, iterating until the default convergence is uh, met. So the example here is for the Rosenbrock function, which is a classic nonlinear optimization benchmark problem. Uh, I've added some box constraints here in black and starting on the top left corner with the steepest descent iterator, it progresses until a certain condition is met on the rate of convergence. And then it switches to a conjugate gradient method until it finds the minimizer here. This is just one thing. Not only you can solve the same problem using different methods, but you could also, as I showed you, uh, solve different problems in sequence by warm starting them. And this really opens a world of possibilities for uh, the optimization community in Julia. The future plans for this package include adding a stronger line search condition of the wolf type and also adding trust region optimizers, second derivative information such that you can get Newton directions, and obviously add support for general nonlinear constraints, uh, which can be done by a penalty or barrier approach. So if any of what I said appeals to you and you want to get in touch and contribute, you're more than welcome to contact me. And yeah, let's make it happen.